Okay, I'm David Madeira with Hemp Technologies. This is our first house in the United States. It's permitted. What you've just seen is the mixture. The mixture is the most important thing. That must con remain consistent. As you can see from this wall, we're doing it in sections. Now these sections have to fit together and that consistency of the mix is crucial. Now we did these on uh, last week. We can take down the forms now and move them up. This is a big window here. We'll lay the bottom plate in it and then this will be protected. So what we're using here is recycled plastic in reusable plastic shutter forms that lock together tight. Sometimes we have to screw them directly into the framing, but pretty much they'll unlock and then we use them on the outside. Now this bottom layer, we need to leave that shuttering on for 24 hours. And after 24 hours, we can remove that first layer of shuttering system. And then we take the bottom shutters and we move them up on top. Now, in the perfect world, we'd have enough shutters to do both sides. But right now, we have to keep reusing them to go around the house. So, with these forms, with regular concrete, you have a slumping that causes the bottom form to go out. With hempcrete, you do not have any of this slumping so you don't have to worry about taking the form off too early. And with concrete, what would happen is pushing the form out. And um, that's why your forms have to be a lot stronger. And in this case, because we don't have any slump, we don't have to worry about that. Okay, so what we have here is the hemp shiv, or also called the herd, which is the internal part of the stem of the plant. And that's mixed with a lime-based binder. And so with that lime-based binder and the hemp, we've got a negative carbon footprint. Now the difference between lime and concrete is that lime you don't have to heat up as much. Concrete you have to heat up to th almost 3,000 degrees, which takes a lot of energy and has a very, does very poorly on the carbon footprint, whereas lime does much, much better. Now this binder, using the lime and the hempcrete together, you have a breathable wall but yet air doesn't pass through, so you have a much more thermal dynamic situation. major differences between this and straw bale is when straw bale gets wet it doesn't 
do as well as this. When this gets wet, it just dries itself out naturally because of its breathing capability. And so you never have mold, you never have uh, dry rot, and you never have termites. And so um, this whole wall is going to breathe. So the cellulose properties of hemp are so much better than straw. Now, there might be some plant out there that's even better, but we don't know about it. Basically, what this does is, because of the lime-based binder, not only does it have a carbon negative footprint, it will pull carbon dioxide out of the air after the house is built, because the lime is trying to go back to being a rock, and it needs carbon dioxide to do that. That means this wall is going to get harder and harder and harder. Over time, it's going to petrify. So this is, these walls will last for thousands of years, not at 40 years like what we're used to building.